This is Piero San Giorgio, and today I would like to review, it's been a long time, a book that I've just read by author Vox Day, SJWs Always Lie. Um, I didn't know Vox Day uh, until recently. I was uh, browsing through the internet, and I heard an interview of this gentleman uh, from uh, Stefan Molino, and, um, and I was curious about what he had to say about uh, this uh, scourge of modern times that are social justice warriors. I've actually been uh, the target myself recently of uh, an attack by uh, social justice warriors uh, dwelling into the mainstream media, uh, which was quite interesting. And um, anyways, I had read this book and um, I must say that the advice in it is very interesting because everyone, including you, uh, will soon or, or ha are in the process of being attacked by these morons by these retards that are social justice warriors. Anyways, enough about them, let's talk about the book. Uh, interesting book about 100 or about 200 pages long, very easy uh, to read, although I found it very well written. Actually, you can see the momentum of the writing going up as you read uh, through the book. And uh, very interestingly, because this is a topic that um, is never talked about, uh, is a topic that can uh, happen to all of us, uh, and uh, at the most unsuspecting times. What is very interesting is that Vox Day does, um, and I encourage you to read his blog, I'll put the link uh, just below. Um, I, his book mentions, starting from a personal history of his, what has, been, uh, what has become the Gamergate, which I didn't know about, uh, but I'm too old, uh, I'm a bit old for games and, 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 and on the internet and, 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 and the computer game industry while I was in it long time ago. And he takes that example and carry it forward into uh, explaining how social justice uh, warriors work, how they attack, and how they in fact use a modern version of Saul Alinsky. You know, he was a, a kind of a crook from uh, the 50s. And um, he theorized how you can uh, infiltrate and use um, any organization to turn it around to your advantage. He was a kind of um, um, thief and, and crook, but certainly his ideas were quite bright, although completely immoral, and um, are part of why the Western civilization is being destroyed. So it's very interesting to understand how they work, uh, how they um, see, for example, the eight stages of the social justice warrior attack is, for example, to first locate and create a violation of the narrative. Whatever narrative it is, these guys, anyway, have their own twisted, uh, sick narratives. So they define a narrative, and whenever they see someone going against it, which can be anyone, really, uh, because normal people are uh, sane and normal, therefore don't fit the narrative, um, once they locate it, number two, point and shriek. Point, point number three, isolate and swarm. Uh, number four, reject and transform. Number five, press for surrender, which you should never do. Uh, and this is explained and why is explained in the book. Number six, appeal to amenable authorities. Number seven, make it of a show trial. Again, these are techniques that have been used by the Stalinist, by all these people um, where, and we have to remember that these these leftists, these social justice warriors, take their roots from the genocidal policies of the 1930s and 40s. So this is these are are not innocuous people. They are dangerous. And uh, number eight, victory pa parade, rinse and repeat. And I found that um, he makes his case in a very very clear way, and it gives sound advice for anyone who is attacked, because these social justice warriors are not only in those famous and ridiculous cases in the academic world or at universities or in schools. They are in businesses. They are in the administration. They are in the public libraries. They are everywhere. And um, they uh, are pretty good now at finding the technique to attack, say, normal people to, again, push their narrative. And they use every little victory they have to become stronger and to create the narrative, once again, this narrative is destroying the Western civilization. And we know that once you have destroyed the Western civilization, there is nothing left. There is uh, barbarity. So, in the end, they will lose and they will literally die. But we don't want that. 
for ourselves and for our children. So it's very important that we learn to fight back. And of course, this is what the book does. It gives us techniques, which I found very interesting, how, for example, to destroy their propaganda, how to uh, fight back, how to use um, sanity and logic and um, to take their techniques, their attacks, to make uh, counterattacks against them and win. So this is a book that is a must read for any one of you who is interested into, first of all, understanding how this sick phenomenon that started in the 90s has now become uh, almost mainstream, really. And uh, even famous people and, and high-level people have fallen prey to, this, to these attacks. And I think it's time that we fight back. And obviously, this is the book that you must read. I think the author is also a publisher of many great books. I encourage you to look at his uh, website. Once again, I put it downstairs. The, down the, the description, not downstairs, um, downstairs where we should, shall put the single Justice Warriors. But anyway, uh, I really encourage you to read this book because this is, uh, is part of how we fight back against uh, the collapse of uh, our society. So uh, with that, I encourage you, Vox Day, Single Justice Warriors Always Lie. It has a very funny and witty, as usual, um, foreword by Milo Yiannopoulos. And um, uh, very, very good read, and I look forward to the sequel. Take care, and as always, and prepare yourselves.